This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me and these are some more updates coming from London and I've got some crime scenes that I've been to today in Birmingham and West Midlands and I'll definitely do them updates as soon as possible. Please don't forget to send your stories to news at Scar City Studios. This first story takes place in Waterloo in South London in Lambeth. A 32-year-old male was found with serious stab injuries. This was at quarter past two in the morning on Saturday the 29th of October. Police were called to Lower Marsh in SE1 and officers attended with the paramedics and the 32-year-old male was found at the back of a block of flats on Fraser Street. His next of kin have been informed and specialist officers are supporting them. Homicide detectives have been involved and a murder investigation has been launched. A large scene took place on a very busy high street outside the cabana bar and restaurant and very close to the train station. A large blue tent was erected as well and the crime scene spread out across several different areas. Forensics were seen gathering evidence in bags and markers were placed alongside the cordons as well. With one of the side roads being the focus of some of the investigation. But it seems initially that the majority of this incident took place outside cabana. The latest update in relation to this story is the victim has been identified. His name is Adrian Keese and he was 32 years old and also from Lambeth. The police have said in a report afterwards that a murder investigation has been launched and they believe that an altercation involving two groups of males in Lower Marsh Street took place in the early hours of Saturday. Detective Chief Inspector Brian Howie from the Homicide Division said our investigation is moving at pace and we are carrying out a number of inquiries. We are also gathering CCTV and forensic examinations of the scene are taking place. We believe Adrian was involved in an altercation that started near the Cabana restaurant before moving down Lower Marsh Street and the police officer said that he's sure that people who witnessed it have not yet come forward to tell the police. Police later go on to confirm that the incident took place inside the restaurant in Lower Marsh Street, SE1 and police attended with the ambulance service to save the man but sadly they couldn't do anything to help him. The post-mortem examination will take place in the coming days but they're confident that he died of stab wounds. So I send my condolences to the friends and family of Adrian and I'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with any charges or a trial that follows if somebody does get charged. In some other news coming from Harrow in Wembley the day after on the 30th of October at 10 to 2 in the morning, a male suffered stab wounds and died on Harrow Road near Wembley. Thank you to Dave Nathan for his coverage from the scene and the police report said that officers attended along with the London Ambulance Service and a 21 year old male was found with stab wounds and despite the best efforts of emergency services he died a short time later. His next of kin have been informed and specialist officers are supporting them at this time. Two men aged 33 and 25 were arrested on suspicion of murder and taken into custody and the 33 year old remains in custody and the 25 year old was released without no further action. Homicide detectives are investigating and they are leading the investigation and a crime scene has been put in place and forensics were at work. A large tent can be seen on the high